G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel. This is uh, the first video I've, I've done on my camera phone since I've bought my new camcorder, but the reason I'm doing this is because I'm at the moment using my camcorder for this very video I'm doing. Anyway, this, um, what I'm doing in this video is retronizing um, a camcorder recording I did with my new Samsung HMX F80 camcorder. Basically, I've recorded um, on I used the on my camcorder. I used a set I used the black and white setting and set the uh, aspect ratio to four by three to make a four by three black and white camcorder recording for for the purpose of displaying on an old TV and tele record via a vintage Viticon camera to my DVD recorder to retronize the picture. Anyway, um, so yeah, down here I'm in the shades, <laughs> so I'm doing some dark. Um, I've got my Samsung camcorder currently outputting one of the videos I've made up at uh, Hill 60, and as seen on me 1969 black and white. Pi TV, um, I'm displaying the picture which is of um, black and white setting and at 4x3 aspect ratio. And here I've got my vintage late 60s, early 70s era Concord NEI 17 1 inch Viticon tube black and white camera pointed to the screen recording the picture. And here on the viewfinder you can see the camera filming what's on the TV so yeah I'm basically making a retro Viticon style tele recording of um, what I've filmed at um, Hill 60 so this isn't yeah this is this is basically an experiment that I've did for a bit of fun because I think it's cool Anyway, um, yeah, in order to successfully pull this off, you have to have the camera well aligned um, to the, and f zoomed in enough to the TV screen that the edges pretty well don't show up. Well, they will show up um, because of the curvature of the screen and the mac and I wanted to get maximum area. They will the edges will the corners may show up a little bit, but otherwise it's all right. But yeah, it's best to try and get to have it zoomed in enough so you don't see the edges of the TV. And basically, yeah, you adjust the camera settings so to get the type of picture you want um, with good depth of field. If you want to expose it, just <laughs> adjust up the target as much um, to overexposure. Um, if you've got target controls on the back of the camera or just open the, the iris wide open whatever you decide to do you can set the you can pretty much set the standard picture you want to anything you want within the bounds of what you can do with with controlling the camera's image pickup anyway yeah this is a this is um, the easiest way you can pretty much do um, remote location shots on um, on an old camera without having to take your old camera out on location to film. Simply by doing a camcorder recording, play it on a TV and point your old camera to the TV. Hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. This is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts Channel, signing out.